Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal with eXp Realty and I know a lot of you know somebody that's dreaming of home ownership but they're constrained by their budget. But the good news is, is that in this video, I'm gonna share with you properties in which you can afford for a low $600,000 budget. We're gonna cover everywhere from London to Kitchener to Barrie. I'm really excited. If you are in a hurry, then I'd welcome you to look at the timestamps in the YouTube description. I'm looking at the very first property. We're in London, this is a two-story row house. So it's a townhouse without condominium fees. It's three bedrooms plus one, one in the basement, three washrooms. It has a partly finished basement. And this property sold for $585,000 on a 21 by 114 deep lot. Here's now the next property. We're in Barrie. We can see a very similar pattern here in that properties are selling over their asking price. This property sold for $600,000. Only two bedrooms, two washrooms. It's a semi-detailed attached two-story home with a mutual driveway with the one car garage and the approximate square footage looks to be around a thousand square feet and the property is between 20 to 30 years old. This next property is in Hamilton. It sold for $596,000. It's a two and a half story. So two story and then maybe with a loft up top. So three bedrooms, two washrooms. It's on a 29 by 84 feet deep lot. So probably has no backyard and does not have any garage. And notice that it looks a little bit older. This is quite common in Hamilton. We see a lot of properties between 60 to 80 years old. This is our next property in Windsor. A little bit unique this one as it does have a two car garage, but it only has two bedrooms. So maybe this is ideal for like a senior citizen. It's under five years old, approximate square footage, 1100 to 1500. And like I mentioned, it's two bedrooms plus two in the basement and three washrooms. And this one, as you can see, is fairly updated. It's got a great open concept and it's also on a corner lot. This property just west off of Calderwood is sold for $547,000. Moving on now to Kitchener, Waterloo. This is a two-story townhouse. It's got three bedrooms with two washrooms, one washroom on the main floor, a powder room, and then a washroom with the shower up top. It's on a 20 by 120 feet deep lot. Does have a garage and does have a finished basement. This property sold in six days for $550,000 and it just sold March the 17th, 2021. This is a condo that I've included. It's in Mississauga on 60 Absolute Avenue, also known as the Maryland Monroe Landmark Condo. And the, the property sold for $599,000, does have one parking space and it's two bedrooms, two washrooms, and it's a fairly spacious unit with around 950 square feet with the condo fees at $726. The condo fees do, however, include water, they also include heat. And as far as the building amenities are concerned, they've got great amenities. It has an indoor pool. It's got its own gym and a library. Now let's head to St. Catharines in Niagara. This property sold for $585,000. It's a detached bungalow with three bedrooms on the main floor and then three bedrooms in the basement. As well, it has two washrooms, one on the main floor, one in the basement. It does have a separate entrance, which is appealing for all of you investors looking to rent out the basement. Doesn't have a garage, but does have parking. And you can see that it does need a little bit of work. However, it sits on a great lot. It's 56 by 101 feet deep. Here's what you could potentially afford in Ottawa. This property sold for $554,000. It's a three bedroom, two story townhouse without condo fees. It also has three washrooms. As you can see, it does have a one car garage and it's fairly narrow. That's the only drawback with this house, but otherwise looks like a great property in a decent area with a, a quartz counter, upgraded cabinets, stainless steel appliances, and hardwood floors and pot lights throughout the whole house. Here's the next property. It's in Oshawa, a little bit closer to Toronto. The property sold for $550,000. However, maybe this is land value as it only has one bedroom and it has one washroom. It sits on a 38 by 127 feet deep lot. It does have hardwood floors and stainless steel appliances, but one drawback of buying an Oshawa is that properties generally have a very high property tax compared to other cities. You can see the property taxes are around $3,900. And now let's compare that to the very first property we referred to in London, just around $2,800. So if you got value from this video, consider subscribing. And if you're a real estate agent looking to connect for opportunity, then send me an email. My contact information is in the description box and I will look forward to seeing you all next time.